In this section, we are going to discuss about inheritance, subclassing, and extending built-in class. Inheritance or subclassing, it is one and the same thing of object-oriented JavaScript category. Inheritance or subclassing is very important concept and often used with object-oriented patterns. With ES5, there were different ways of inheritance, but in ES6, Extends is the keyword to inherit a class. Inheritance is needed when you have unique or common members. For example, you as a child have inherited properties from parent and also you have your own unique properties. Like you have your own height, you have your own color, you have a different properties on your own as well. Let me quickly show you a practical example. I create a class called child. I say extends. Now this is the keyword to inherit a class. I am not creating a parent class. Rather, I am extending this child class from already available class called string. Now this is actually a built-in class of JavaScript and that we are extending. That means whatever this string class has, the child class will receive. At the same time, child class can have its own properties or methods as well. Let me first of all just create this class like this and also creating an object of this child only. Let me pass a string here. Now when I pass a string inside this constructor, this will eventually be passed to the string class that we will see in a moment when we understand few other concepts of constructor calling and the related concepts. But here right now I am passing a string called test string. Now the string class has one method called to lower case, right? This is a method which is of string that is this method belongs to the string class of JavaScript. But because we have extended this string class to child, that means the object of child class should have this method. Let's try this. I will simply write console log, then I will say object dot to lower case. Now you see the list is already populated. So whatever methods we have with the string class or any string in JavaScript, all those methods now belong to obj as well. So now obj is a child of parent class called string here. Let me say to lower case and I will just run the code. So I'll say node OOJS. That's the file name, right? So I'll say OOJS. You see the entire string is now in lower case. This is the practical way of inheritance. There are a lot of theories about extending a class. Then you have a vehicle class or animal class or human class and a lot of things. But when you practically implement, this is a most common way of implementing the inheritance. But here we are extending the built-in class. So we must see the basic syntax also, which we are discussing in a moment. But right now I also mentioned that the parent class has its own properties and methods like this. Similarly, child can have its own methods or properties as well. For example, I say number of characters. Now we do have the length property, but let's say I just want to give number of characters method which belongs to the child class. Here there will be a string passed to it and then at the end you may display console log. Then whatever is the length of the string that we want to display, that's it. Now here we have the NOC that is number of character. This method belongs to the child class. Let's try to call that as well. I'll say obj dot number of characters and I'm passing, let's say, new string here, something like this. So now as you see that the object has two lower case, which is actually a method of string class, that is the parent class. And the child also has its own methods. So child now has parents properties or methods and child also has its own properties and methods here. Right. So let's run this and see whether we get the proper output or not. So yes, we do get it. 
we have 15 that is the length of this new string here. So this is one of the practical example of extending a class but here I am extending a built-in class. Let's now try to see the basic syntax of how do we create or how do we extend the class. For example, you have the parent class. I am writing a constructor. We have already seen constructor in previous question. So here I will say console log and I will say parent constructor call. Let's say parent. That is enough. Now I am extending another class. I will say class child extends parent. This means the parent is the parent class of course and this is the child class. Now I do not write anything in the child class but I straight away create an object of child. So I will say obj is equal to new child. Right. So here we have the obj which is creating an instance of child but which is extended from parent. This means this constructor will be called automatically. Let's see this. You see this? So it means that whatever member you have in the parent are available or accessible for an object of the child class. Let's also try a method. Let's say parent method. Console log parent method. So this method is also available because I can say object dot parent method. That's it. Let's run this. Right. Without any error, it is executing it. In fact, if you want to pass parameters to the parent constructor, you can do that as well. Even by passing the members to the child class. Let's say I pass here 12. Right. This value I want that it should be passed to the parent constructor. I can say A for example. And let me also display this. First of all, I'll say this dot A is equal to A. That's it. So now we have a member called A, which I am displaying here. I'll say this dot A. So we pass the parameter to the child class, but that is passed to constructor of parent. Now let's talk about one more situation where you have constructor in the child class as well. Let me say constructor, right? This also has A for example or at the moment I don't need any A or B or anything because we want to have just simple constructor. No complications at all because I want to discuss one more situation here. We don't pass anything right. Earlier it was working fine but now we have added a constructor in the child class. Now let's see what happens. It has stopped working. What is it saying? It's saying that there is a reference error must call super constructor. What it says is that if you have a constructor of a child class, then it should explicitly call the constructor of the parent class first, right? Then only the instance of child class can be in picture. And for that, to call the parent class constructor, you have a keyword called super. You just put pair of parentheses to call the parent class constructor like this. Now if you run, there won't be any issue running the code. Of course, we are trying to display this dot a which is no value. So it says undefined. Now in fact, we can pass that parameter also. Let me add 12 here, right? And this you can further pass to the parent class constructor. You are actually calling the parent class constructor where you are passing the value. So here I can say, a and I put this dot A is equal to A. So that's a member which we are trying to refer in the parent class. So now you see that here in the new child when you pass this as a parameter to the constructor it actually got passed to the constructor of child and that is further passed to this constructor of parent by the super keyword. So super is the keyword which allows you to access parent class members. For example this P method I want to access here in child class. Let's say we have another method child method. Right. So I want to call this parent class P method in the C method that is child method. How will you do that? Can you say that parent dot uh, P method something like this? It's not allowed. Right. Let's try this first. I want to call the parent class method. So I say parent dot P method. Right. 
and let me call the child method here right let's see what happens it gives the error so how will you call the parent class member that is method here you will say super dot method that is parent method whatever name is i mean right now let's try to run the code again now it is running absolutely fine so the way we have accessed the constructor using the super keyword we can use the super keyword to access the method as well in short you can say that super is the keyword which is used to call the super constructor call parent constructor like this or you call super dot method right to call parent method or in fact super dot property to access parent properties right now in this class we have two names of the method that is we have p method and we have c method but what if we have the same name in both the classes let's say here you have p method the same name you have here in this parent class also now by default what it will do when you say child object dot parent method by default it's going to call the very same that is the current scope method the object is of child eventually so it's going to call this method not the parent method right in case if you want to call the parent method again the super keyword is useful so this actually is a process of overriding the method so when it comes to overriding a method again you use the super keyword only and you call the method of parent class